a fresh encounter this evening. I need a fresh encounter this evening.
glory of majesty and your consignment of angels that you have released into this place in order to fraternize and to move in the wave of the spirit in order for us to be able to match up with the agenda of mankind
particular kind of gathering some spirit to spirit messages some deep realms of God and then if they can contact that deep realms of God they will be able to flow in that uh, frequency so what we want to consider is not something that you have to be carnal about if you don't flow with me in the frequency of the spirit you might miss out That's why the Bible made us to understand that it is the spirit that understands spirit things. You can never understand God if you don't become a person of the supernatural. It won't. It can't. It's not possible. It is foolishness to carnal men. That's what the Bible made us understand. The ways of God. So, I'm speaking on the making of God's artillery weapons. The making of God's artillery weapons. It is a making. It is a formation. It is a structuring. It is a transfiguration. It is a coming together. It is a combination. It is a rearrangement of powerful component together in order to become a mighty entity that can break down any obstacle on the way. When you are considering the making of a thing, then you are about sending forth something on an assignment. For something to be in the making, then that means that thing is under the building of something. It's under the building of something. It's under the structuring of something. When you talk about the making, then that means there is a demand. And there is something that that uh, particular making that you have in mind to structure that it must meet up with in the earth realm or in whatever it is that you want to, to do. There is a making that you are yet to understand about yourself that uh, you and I want to journey in that of the spirit now. So it's a making. It's a making. If you understand the making of God and you understand the making of the spirit, then you'll be able to move and survive in this earth realm as the one that God has sent. God is spirit and he cannot come to the earth realm to manifest except through the medium of mankind. As big as God is, as the almighty God is so mighty and all-powerful, He is powerless except through the medium of mankind in this earth realm. So in essence, God needs the making of mankind in order to manifest in this landscape of the heaven. So it is important for you to understand this thing. In the scripture, God makes some commands. He said some things about the making of mankind. In Jeremiah 51, from verse 20. Jeremiah 51, from verse 20. Jeremiah 51, from verse 20. Thou art my battle axe. The Lord is speaking here. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee will I break in pieces nations. After you have become the battle axe, 
and become the weapons of war. You have been made by God as a battle axe, and you have become a weapon of war. Then God sent you out into nations to break in pieces nations. Why? Because he wants nations to come to the knowledge of the truth of his word. He wants nations to come to the knowledge of the light of God. If you become the artillery weapons of God, if you become the battle arms of God, if you become the weapons of God, you can never stay in one place. He sent you out to be sent you out to nations. By the time you get to that level and that position of becoming an artillery weapon, then you can't stay in one place. It's just like fire. Fire is a language and it has the ability to speak and it's very radical in nature. And fire cannot keep quiet. Fire is always very noisy. And that's why when you see a man of fire, a man of fire is not normal. They are always abnormal. They are always radical in nature. Why? Because that's the language of fire. That's the nature of fire. Praise God. And with thee, I will destroy kingdoms. There are kingdoms that are trying to fight the kingdom of the ancient Zion king. And the Zion king himself cannot come down to fight those kingdoms. He has to use you and I to destroy those kingdoms. What I'm seeing in essence is this. Can you read this statement? There are kingdoms that God will give you to destroy. In order to become a territorial commander, if you have not conquered kingdoms, then you cannot ascend to the level of becoming a territorial commander. So there are kingdoms you must face and you must destroy as a battle axe of God, as a weapon of God. If you have not ascended to the realm at the level whereby you have been made to conquer kingdoms and you are yet to stand as God's battle arms and weapons of war. And with thee I will break in pieces the horse and his rider. Those that are trying to fight against The armies of God, the horse and his rider, the devil himself, and the demonic horse that have been unleashed, a demonic army. That's the horse and the rider. Demonic armies that have been sent forth to fight against the children of God. And with thee, I will break in pieces the chariots and the rider. They have their own chariot. Listen to me. For every move of God in every generation, there is a counterfeit move of the devil. Amen. For every move of God in every generation, the devil will always counterfeit that move. And it will take discernment for you to be able to understand that this is the move of God, this is the move of the devil. But because the devil knows that at every move of God, God wants to achieve something. And that's why this revival that we are talking about is, 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 is a fairly, is, 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 is a massive one, a mega one, mighty one. It's an avalanche of the release of armies of God to take over the nations of the world. And that's why when you come to a place like this, you have come to a, mini, a spiritual military school to become one of those armies. So, 
the devil too will also raise his own armies in order to counter the armies of God. That's the devil for you. He, he will always do that. They will also gather like this as if they are in church. They will also gather like this as if they are doing things for God. Whereas, they are being raised by the devil in order to counter the armies of God. So God is raising us as well in order to bring them down. And we also, and we break in pieces, man and woman. And we dear, we break in pieces, old and young. And we dear, we break in pieces, young man and the maid. And I will also break in with in, in, in pieces with thee, the shepherd and his flock. There are shepherds and the flock that you need God is going to send you forth to correct things. And we dear, break in pieces, husband, man and his young of oxen. And we dear, we break in pieces, the captains and the rulers. Praise the Lord. Like I said, God is raising an avalanche of mighty soldiers all over the world. And um, that's why I want you to listen very well. Don't think you are the only one that is drunken in the Holy Ghost. There are many that have been drunken in the Holy Ghost in various places of the world. <laughs> God is raising them, raising them, raising men and women that have been bullied and been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are being brooded upon by the Holy Ghost. Some have been unleashed already. Some are yet to be unleashed. Like some of you now, God is using this medium to train you for a time of launching out. And if you launch out for good, it is a it is problem. Serious problem. The person will become a prey in the battlefield. That's why some people, they, they, they have not fought with peace in Ephesus. They have not uh, conquered territories and kingdoms. They, they, they have not risen to the levels of uh, becoming a territorial commander. They are raising their shoulders high and they started calling them Papa. And then when they call them Papa, and they are, they are so high. Say, thank you, my son, my daughter. Whereas they have not fought one devil in their life. Not to talk less of concrete kingdoms and territories. Praise God. Shout in bigger hallelujah. For you to rise to the level of them calling you Papa. It's a great image. <laughs> it's better you don't die to your... <laughs> Because by the time they are calling you, they have, the devil say, okay, ah, all right, this one is already power. Now, what the devil will now do, is, let me test him, let me test her. So the devil will now break and unleash demons in the category of people that are called papa. <laughs> and uh, to attack you. And by the time the devil comes and sees us, ah, <laughs> so this one is as, as light as a wood. Will just be with a flaw. Praise God. Let us understand our place and let us know where, what we carry. Let us understand the length and the level that God is operating from with us. Don't raise yourself above the spiritual experience and above the level of. Of the power of God inside of you, or else, blessing is coming down. What about that? The devil is searching, he's looking too, he's observing things. You think he's just watching? God, who is the ancient man himself, the monarch king in heaven. The invisible supreme master of all living and non living creatures created everything to function and to operate according to your divine DNA and structure. The invisible supreme being of all living and non living creatures. 
He created everything to function and to operate according to your divine DNA structure. There's a structure of divine DNA in you that needs to build up to a level where you can face certain demons and powers. Where you can conquer territories for God. If you have not been well built in that DNA and you go to that territory before timing, a person will be brought down. Good God is raising God's artillery weapons. Human agent weapons. Amen. Human agent weapons. That is, they are human beings, but they are weapons. They are weapons of God. Every part of their system is a weapon. And not just a weapon, artillery weapon. You know, artillery, I will say artillery, the meaning of artillery. It's not an ordinary term, it's a military term. So it is through the building of our supernatural DNA that will later define you to your generation. It is through the building of our supernatural DNA that will later define you to your generation. Every generation has a definition of mankind. Every generation has a, a kind of way they look at the move of God to a man. So, there are men and women that are defined by their assignments. That it is by their assignment you can define them. And it is through that assignment those men can define God. It is through that assignment those men can define the Holy Ghost. Why? Because God has so much built their supernatural DNA for their generation to define them the way they are according to the structure of heaven. Every humanity is a moving communicator. You are a moving communicator. And you are supposed to be transmitting something to your heaven. You are a divine wiring moving communicator in the landscape of the earth and you are communicating something in your act, your dealings the way you talk, the way you move and the way you do things the way you reason you are communicating something we are created according to the formation of our divine tribe in the Zion kingdom of heaven. Everybody belongs to a particular tribe in heaven. There are different tribes in the Zion kingdom. And you must understand your own tribe and key it into the movement of your tribe. That's why you go to Joel chapter 2 from verse 6 to 7. It talks about the rise of mighty men that can climb walls. And uh, there are people that will not break their ranks. They know their tribe. They know their stand. At the same God will raise mighty men all over the world that it will take the spirit of God himself to not choose a leader. Why? Because everybody will begin to operate almost in the same way. You understand the move of the spirit. At the top of the finger, you know what the other person is saying. At the look of a man of the spirit, you understand the communication. At every movement of the leg of somebody in that rank of the spirit, you understand what the spirit is speaking. The bond of love. There is no discrepancy. There is no. There is no a discord. There is no confusion. There is no conspiracy. There is no fighting. That's the revival we are talking about. That is the army that God is raising. Not that uh, 
God. You are operating more than me. You are anointed more than me. No. Everybody knows their place. You know your own kind of artillery weapon as an entity of God. And you manifest it. Another person understands his own kind of God's artillery weapon and manifests it. Everybody begins to manifest their own artillery weapon in the first place. We are reflectors and transmitters of supernatural information. We are reflectors and transmitters of supernatural information from the unseen, invisible world of the Zion Kingdom. We are reflectors and transmitters of supernatural information from the unseen world, from the invisible world of the Zion Kingdom into the visible world of the earth realm. Praise God. It takes a man that will understand me with what I'm talking about in the realm of the spirit when you connect with me in the spirit. If you are listening with me with a carnal mind, sorry, you will be lost. But if you are flowing with me in the frequency of the spirit, then you will understand what I'm talking about. Because inside of you, spirit will call unto spirit. Deep will call unto deep. And there will be an awakening inside of you. Because of what God wants to do in the earth realm. So the fabrication of our supernatural system cannot be effect, cannot effectively function if we do not reset to the factory system of heaven. The fabrication of our supernatural system cannot effectively function if we do not reset to the factory system of heaven. We must reset to the factory system of heaven. There is a fabrication in us. There is a system in us. For that system to effectively function in the earth realm, we must reset back to the system of heaven. So in essence, what I'm saying is this. We need to uninstall the application version of the systemic nature of this dark world that is already in us. We must be ready to uninstall, uninstall, uninstall the application version of the systemic nature of this world. The application version of the systemic nature of this devilish world. And we must restore, to restore to the update of the version of the system of the Zion Kingdom. We must make sure that we restore ourselves and we install that which God has put in, uh, that which God wants to function inside of us, the application of heaven that is already in us to update to the latest version of the system of the Zion Kingdom. Or else, you will just be wandering in this world. You will be confused in this world. If you'll be doing try and error, you might not be able to understand your place. An artillery is a class of heavy military ranged weapon. An artillery is a class. So there are classes. But this particular one, a class of heavy, not lightweight, heavy military range weapons built to launch munitions. It can be our munitions, it can be fire munitions, but it's built to launch munitions far beyond the range of power. Far beyond the range. That is, that particular launching The target of that launching is far away. So there's going to be a need for an artillery weapon to be long beyond the range of the target. 
It's like a development of defensive walls. It's like a fortification. It is consisted of military heavy firearms. So we are talking about us becoming a system or a supernatural military heavy firearms. Fragmented all over the world. Launching out all over the world in smaller bits of fragments in order to effectively perform a function. So we are formulated and structured like artillery weapons. We are supernatural in our operations. We are supernatural in our operations. We were formulated and structured like artillery weapons. And we are supernatural in our, in our operations. This you must understand very well. Every one of us, we are to manifest as an artillery weapons of war in the earth realm. Two different versions and structuring. There's something you call artillery weapon of the world. Artillery weapon of the world. The word that comes out of the mouth and the words that we read from the scripture. There are people in this earth realm that they, they are making is the making of artillery weapon of the world. According to Hebrews 11.3, and according to Hebrew 4.12, people of this making of artillery weapon of the word, they speak the word, and as they are speaking the word, the word pierces into the soul, into the spirit, into the marrow, into the body of mankind. The devil knows this, and is using it effectively well. There are some of you, you are an artillery weapon of the world. God has structured you to become an artillery weapon of the world. You have become a supernatural world spirit. You can manufacture words from the throne and release it into the earth realm. And as people are hearing those words, it is entering their bones, their marrow, their system. And they are being changed from glory to glory. So you need to understand that you are a making of an artillery weapon of the world. Connect to it. Download the latest version from the nation of heaven and begin to release it into your world. I will give you examples from the scripture and our contemporary world. Those that are artillery weapons of the world. That when they land in a territory, and they begin to speak. Territorial powers bow. <laughs> they have been formulated. Their world system is so powerful that when it is released into the atmosphere, it creates a superpower energy <laughs> that has the tendency to bring down any demon. It is not from in a day. People like that have drunk and have been structured. They have walked with God. They have dined and wine with God. They understood their place in the ranking of the next move of revival. And they have been able to understand they are, they are artillery weapon of the world. That all they need to do is to get to a place and begin to speak. And as they are speaking, the atmosphere begins to change. Demons begin to flee. Angels begin to appear. The presence of God begins to come down. The light of God begins to shine. And darkness are dispelled from that environment. The artillery of the world. <laughs> God is raising men and women like that. And they stand in the place they speak. And here uh, yeah, marks the end of darkness in that place. Here yeah, 
marks the hand of the operations of demons here because they are commanders of the world. They are generals of the world. They have been built as a weapon of the world. Amen. I pray for somebody here that uh, God is calling to become the artillery of the world. Be empowered now in the name of Jesus. Be empowered now in the name of Jesus. Artillery of fire. Artillery of fire. <laughs> In 2 Kings chapter 1, from verse 1 to 15, Elijah was on the mountain and the king sent armies of fifties in order to tell him to come down. And they came, the first part came, and said, man of God, come down. And he looked at them and he said, if I be a man of God, let fire come down and consume him. And fire had no option but to obey. Why? Elijah has become a weapon of fire. An artillery of fire. Connected with fire. Understood the language of fire. Dine and wine with fire. He understood what to say and fire will respond. He understood what to do and fire will respond. He understood the angels that are in charge of fire. So when he speaks, fire comes out. So he called fire on the first 50. Another 50 came, he called fire on them. And the third 50 came, they understood that they had children at home. And they need to live a long life. So they needed to respect the man of the artillery of fire. The prophet of fire. They had to bow and say, sorry, sir. We understood that uh, we were well caught up. We understand. We are well trained. We have no trained. Those people that came for the day have no trained. So we understood that uh, we are a prophet of fire. So please uh, permit us to leave. Read that place very well. It took an angel to speak to Elijah to stop. And the angel of the Lord came to him and said, Go with them. So, I did the angel did not come. That angel must have been the angel of fire. That when Elijah said, Let fire come down, the angel will just release the fire. He took that angel to tell Elijah, Say, Go, just leave them. Go with them. I pray for somebody here that God has. Structure that you are supposed to be an artillery of the fire, the fire carriers of our generations, fire carriers of our generation, fire carriers of our generation, fire carriers of our generation, men and women that will become weapons of fire whenever they land. Fire by you in the name of Jesus. We are working today by fire. We are working by fire. In the name of Jesus, I am here to see a woman of fire that will become like Elijah. I will say this is a, a woman version of Elijah of our generation. And uh, that woman of fire will stand uh, and whenever you get to and speak, uh, fire will descend in that place. Uh, no demon dares to threaten you. No powers in that environment dares to speak against you. Because they know that when you speak, what comes out and what comes down is fire. What comes out and what comes down is fire. Devils will be afraid to come close. <laughs> Why? Because you have been built, structured, and you have matured to the stature of fire. Amen. Artillery of power connected with signs and wonders. Artillery of power connected with signs and wonders. In Acts chapter 5, from verse 15 to 16, you will see 
the operations of Peter, the shadow of Peter began to heal the sea. Cast out devils. Acts 19, chapter 12. You will see the handkerchief brought from the body of Apostle Paul, casting out devils. Why? They have become an artillery of weapon of power, operating with signs and wonders. In so much that the shadow of Peter who cast out demons, in so much that the clothes from the body of Paul who cast out demons. Luke 4 14 says that and Jesus came in the spirit of God. In, in, in the power of the spirit of God. He came in the power of the spirit of God. After he has fasted and prayed, his fasting and praying was to structure him to become an artillery of power that operated with signs and wonders. He was built to the level. So he now came in the spirit of God with power. Signs and wonders following him. There are people in our generations that are operating in this realm and in this level. They have become the weapon of power. Uh, uh, I depend upon somebody here that cares to say amen and you know I'm, you are the one I'm talking to. You know that you are supposed to be an artillery of power operating with signs and wonders following in the name of Jesus. Rise and be born. The world was established through wisdom. 
Exodus 31 from verse 2 to 4 talked about Bezalel. Now ask wisdom. God gave you that wisdom to be. There are people that God will begin to raise and as, as an artillery of wisdom. They have the ability to solve deep and difficult problems with their with the wisdom of God that God will throw it to them. There are women that God will empower with His power, with His anointing, and they will become an artillery of God's wisdom that wherever they get to and they, they step into matters, it does get solved. Matters that fasting and prayer could not solve. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> Somebody operating with the artillery of wisdom just come and just say one of two things and it's up. And you have fasted and prayed for years. The battle will not move. There are people like that. They will just come. Just say one or two things and you say, is it as easy as that? And you will do it. And it will just happen the way the person has said. And you will receive testimony. And you will wonder what I've been fasting and praying about. Somebody just came and simplified it like this. With just simple words, and I just applied it and it worked. There are people like that. <laughs> Operating with artillery of people. Marital troubles and troubles that the woman has prayed and fasted. Prayed and fasted. Prayed and fasted. That the troubles should solve. But it's not something. Somebody will just step in with an artillery weapon of wisdom and just say one or two things, and the turbulence just sees. Right then, there are people that are endowed with wisdom. I pray for everyone in this place that God wants to make that artillery of wisdom. Let that artillery of wisdom come upon you. In the name of Jesus, come upon you. In the name of Jesus, come upon you. In the name of Jesus, artillery of prayer intercessors. Artillery of prayer intercessors. Luke chapter two, from verse thirty-six to thirty-nine. You heard of a prophetess Anna. I've been praying with our husband just eight years, at the age of seven years. After that time, he left the husband and was in the, and he became a widow, I think the other guy, he was not in the temple for that. For years, interceding, praying, praying, praying for the Savior to come. That was a silence. He was not called, she was not called to operate signs and wonders. She was not called to go and mount to people and start preaching. She was just called to be in the temple and be praying, be praying, be praying for the coming king, for the Savior to have a, a smooth landing in the earth. Ah. There are people like that. There are bad sin stage operators in this group of revival. They are back scene stage operators. They operate at the back scene stage. They are not at the forefront. They are not the main character, but they operate at the back stage. They are intercessors. God will even recognize intercessors more than even people that operate with signs and wonders. They show me. Don't be surprised. That there are men and women that are praying for some generals that are operating in this our age. Without them, without nobody knowing them, they have not met those men of just generals before. But God said, begin to intercede. Amen. Somebody came to me and said, the Lord said, it should be, it should go on three days dry because of a man of God. That he has never met. I know if God comes to some of you like I say, eh, which three days? I've not even done three days' drive for myself. Now go and do three days' drive for one man of God. I don't even know him. No, it, it's, 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 you see, 
a person will be burdened for it until the person has done it, the body will not lift. Amen. Don't try some people in the realm at the level of prayer. Amen. There are people that can pray for three days not stop. Yeah? There are grace points. If some of you try it, you will just break down. In fact, you can even die. That is, when you say you are tired, they are, at that stage, they have just started. You, you are tired. You have prayed three hours and you are already tired. They are, they are just doing, and at that time, they are still trying to prepare themselves. They have not started. They are still preparing. Three hours, they are tired. They are still preparing. They are still preparing. And they say that you, you are sleeping. They are already rising. By the time you are waking up, maybe the second day or the third day you are gonna, that is when they are still ch- they are charging. They are charging. They are charging. Amen. So there are people that are grace for it. They can stay behind closed doors for days and they are praying. Cry unto God. Father, a you must not fall. Olukoya must not fall. He must not fall. He must not fall. They have never met them before. Ah, they must not fall. They must not fall. And for three hours is that they must not fall. Three hours, they must not fall. They must not fall. They must not fall. Yeah, they must not fall. Yeah, they must not fall. Hey, they must not fall. Three hours. What are you wonder? What is your problem? Have you finished praying for yourself? They are called for that mission, that assignment. There are people like that here, but you are not in the way. You are too lazy for it. You want to be at, you want to do show off. But as God is saying, you are a vaccine revivalist. You are supposed to be operating at the vaccine. As a man of God, there are people that God will tell them that this man of God monitor his ministry. Anywhere he goes to minister, make sure you are on days of fasting and prayer before he gets there. And the Bible God might not even know. Do you know that? <laughs> Body, they have become artillery of what? Prayer. <laughs> Weapon of prayer. That's why the likes of Apostle and Lack and pray for three days. If you try it, when you are not graced for it, you will land in the mortuary. But there are people that are for it. Be graced for it. Know that that's your place and move with it. Artillery of prayer. Artillery of prophecy. Second Peter 1 Peter 1.21 speak in all times through his prophet, his will to mankind. Amos 3, 7, God do nothing except he will to serve the prophet. Artillery of prophets. They have become prophets, mouthpiece of their time. Seers. Legislators and intermediate between God and mankind. They stand at the watch and begin to speak the word to mankind. They give warnings. They speak of the end time move. They give all kinds of messages that will bring men and women to their knees for God. There are more, but let me stop at this last one. Artillery of sounds. Sound. Sounds in related to music. Ephesians 5 19 talks about singing in the spirit. First Corinthians 14 15 talks about singing in the spirit. Ephesians 5 19. First Corinthians 14 15. Many of us don't understand the way sounds operate. Sounds operate with energy, with power, with wavelength. It's connected to the spirit, it's connected to the soul. It has the ability to change the behavior of man. It's sound. 
earth has the ability to change the reasoning of man. It has the ability to make man to behave the way they don't want to behave. That's why if you hear sounds from the devil, you'll be behaving the way the devil wants to behave. If you hear sounds from God, you will, be, you will not be normal. You will be behaving the way God wants to behave. Shall we be hallelujah? Brethren, in Christianity, some of us are here to get to the realm of sounds. When you get to the realm of sounds, and you are sent to the realm of sounds of the spirit, it will not be of this world again. Every other other sound will be noise to you. Yes. When you hear the true sounds of the spirit, after hearing the true sound of the spirit, and you connect and ascend with it, and somebody is playing good body, you will see it as noise. What noise is this? Noise. But you have no, you are yet to get to the realm of sounds of the spirit. That's why nobody here will see be acceptable by your spirit. I don't know if somebody is getting what I'm saying. There are people that have become artillery of sounds. They sing out like this, they are making sounds. <laughs> Sound. Every other thing in their environment is noise. What makes meaning to them is the sound of the Holy Ghost. Sounds of the Holy Ghost. Offering over their spirit, they, they get to keep the signal of heaven faster. The frequency gets into the spirit man faster. If you don't know, every one of us, we are all antennas. <laughs> we are antennas in the spirit. <laughs> You are antenna in the spirit. The sounds that enters your spirit from your environment and the ability to structure your reasoning. And that's why somebody can listen to the sounds of the devil and want to fornicate. Listen to the sound of the devil and want to masturbate. May the Lord take us to the realm of the sounds of angels. When we have heard the sounds of angels singing and playing instruments, you will not be interested in this world again. You will not. We have heard angels sing and play instruments. This world will be meaningless to you. You say, God, why? Just take me. Let me come up there. What I'm hearing here is noise. The sounds that I'm hearing from your throne and through your angels cannot be compared to what it is. And that's why you see men can travel to heaven Get sounds from angels. Come down to the heaven and deliver it. And you hear those sounds and you're like, wow. I think I'm in heaven. <laughs> there are people like that. That God wants to make a theory of sounds. Every part of you sound, sound, sound. You don't struggle to make sounds from heaven. You don't struggle to sing. You don't struggle to get songs. You don't struggle to ascend. Anybody God makes an artillery of sound, it will not be difficult for you to connect in the spirit. Your wiring, your networking, and your conducting wires will be flowing from heaven. As we have uh, 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 neurons 
in our body, those neurons in our body, those neurons, do you know they operate uh, with dendrites? And those dendrites are like wires, they are like uh, tentacles. So we are transmitters. In our body as a neurotransmitters, that has the ability to conduct energy or sounds and receive sounds from our environment and record it to transmitter. Take me to your secret place, the place of your power. Operating in it diligently. When you 
look at the ancient man Babalola, you know that that man operates, you call it the ancient man of power. Anywhere he lands, battalions of angels operate in that place. A man that has built an altar in the place. And that place became a physical contact between the head and the heavens. Attack between the heaven. An ancient man of power can be defined by his assignment. If you look at that, they are way. You see a man of holiness, the ability of preaching with the voice of Jesus, speaking in sweet words, speaking gentle words, and signs and wonders are following. Just talking, and things are happening. He understood this place. He didn't say he wanted to be like Holy Fire. No, he understood this place. He stood in this place. And he became an artillery weapon in that place. And he began to move. The likes of Daddy Kui. You see a man of holiness and gentility speaking the word of holiness. And as he's speaking the word of holiness, power moves. Signs and what that takes place. The new rising generals of our time, like Apostle Joshua Seller, a man with a torrent of words, of authority, introducing the light of the word of God into our generation that will make mankind to come to the knowledge of the truth of God's word and begin to walk in light. He understood his place and he walked in it. Out of the lives of Apostle Arome, a man operating with the wilderness fire to bring forth signs and wonders from the backside of the wilderness, operating with signs and wonders. Why in the, the day I started listening to that man and I was listening to some of his messages and I was like, wow, what is going on? Why is this man doing the way I'm doing? <laughs> When you see people from your tribe, you understand. Why is man talking? Why is man formulating words where I'm formulating? Why is why, why is it getting all these things from? Because I, I've been searching. Father, why there I need people of my tribe? Where are they? And when I started this call, I said, wow, okay. There are rising soldiers. There is hope for this generation.
by the structure of the authority, by the structure of their own artillery weapon in order to fight in the hatred. When the Lord gave me the vision of vessels and places called international, the Lord told me that this is the acronym. The said vessels is a versatile, efficient, sufficient, extraordinary light, a place, accumulation of ballistic missiles, launching around with zero expectation, sport, sensitive, qualitative, acting with discipline. When I saw it, when the Lord gave me that acronym, I knew in my spirit that I'm a call to raise armies of war. I'm a call to raise men. That will go out with ballistic missiles, they will become artillery weapons. Wherever they get to, they have the ability to banish demons. No wonder the Lord came to me one day and said, Son, I'm about to make a covenant with your name. What WPO, which means war, power, and order. Whenever you speak a word, there will be power, and order will flow. There will be orderliness in the spirit. Darkness will banish out. When you speak the word, power will flow. When you speak the word, the devils will be sent back to where you come from. When you speak the word, I will move in my power. When you speak the word, men and women that are soldiers of Christ will hold in power and they will move in their order. They will not break their rocks. They will rise as weapons. Until any weapons of God. The devil came to his The stand of the devil is a shame. The stand of the devil is a shame. You will. 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 You will.